Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Hubert and I'm a third year student at the Central Michigan University Saxophone Studio. Today we're going to be looking at Furling Etude number 23. <laughs> Okay, so there's a few things that I'd like to go over that are important aspects in playing this uh, etude correctly. Uh, first and probably most important is phrasing. So uh, the phrasing in this piece is very meticulously laid out and um, it's important to pay close attention to detail when it comes to that. So for example, in the very first phrase we can look between bars one and five. So you start at a piano very softly and then pay close attention to the poco crescendo into bar two. So this is a small crescendo, small increase in dynamics, um, back to a day crescendo, and then in bar three, it's a small crescendo and small day crescendo. So it's small details like this that are really gonna bring the piece to life. So the first passage with proper phrasing should sound something like this. So our next point of focus is going to be dynamics. Dynamics are very important, especially in this. It's super slow, super tender, and uh, you're going to want to pay close attention to where it's extra quiet and where it gets loud. So there's one spot where it gets really loud in bar 15. It's a forte um, and a crescendo from bar 13 into the forte. So you're gonna to wanna to start very quiet and bar 15 should be the loudest point in the etude. So starting in bar 14. All right, and the third thing that I'd like to talk about today is tone and vibrato. So a good point of this etude is to bring out uh, a good sound on baritone saxophone with a good vibrato. So a good sound should be nice and open, dark and resonant. So uh, a good way to do that is to open up your throat and really uh, don't apply too much pressure on the reed and let the saxophone speak for you. Um, you're not gonna wanna force anything and a good aspect of tone is adding nice vibrato on top. So any longer notes, a good rule of thumb is to add a nicely shaped vibrato. So for example, in bar 15, um, you can use that as an opportunity to create a nice shaped vibrato to add intensity to the forte. So starting at bar 14, you could do something like this. All right, I hope all my comments have helped you in your Allstate audition preparation and best of luck.